Hello everyone, this is David, and in today's video we'll be talking about how to move the location of your personal folders in Windows 10. The personal folders, of course, refer to these folders that you see in front of you, which are in your user folder. Things like music, pictures, documents, etc. Now you might ask, why would you want to move the location of these folders? Well, let's say, for example, your primary hard drive is a solid state drive and it might be smaller than another hard drive you might have in your computer. If you have a solid state drive that's smaller, maybe to run your operating system, which is the case for me and I know for others that want a faster system, and then you have an additional hard drive, which maybe is a bit bigger, but it's not a solid state hard drive, but that's where you store all of your media files, all of your larger files and personal documents etc. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to move the location of your music folder. Now first, just to kind of explain what's going on here, I'm going to click this PC, and you'll see these are my drives. The local C drive, in my case, is a solid state drive, which is about 250 gigs, and then this is a one terabyte standard hard drive, which is not a solid state drive, but this is where I want to keep all of my files, pretty much. And then the local disk is for the operating system, primarily. So back to my user folder, I'm going to show you how to move the location of the music folder. Uh, all you have to do is right click the folder that you'd like to move. And by the way, these user folders are referred to as shell folders because they have this special property to them. You just click properties, click the location tab, which is unique to these kinds of folders. And mine, as you can see, is already on a different drive, but yours will probably say C slash users slash your username slash the name of the folder, but you can move this. So all you have to do is click move, click this PC, find the new hard drive location that you want to use. In my case, it's called F, but for you, it might be called E or some other letter drive. And then I like to mirror how it looks on my C drive. So I actually have a users folder, just like it would be on a C drive, followed by my user folder. And then I've created a music folder here. And I just click select folder. And here we have a new location for the music. After you click apply, there will be a little bit of a transition. If there's anything on one drive that it will be moving to your other hard drive, but that shouldn't hopefully take too long. And then once you're done, if you open this folder, you're actually going to a different location on a different hard drive, but it's still in your user folder. So it's very convenient to access. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.